give without loving, but you can never love without giving. The great acts of love are done by those who are habitually performing small acts of kindness. We pardon to the extent that we love. Love is knowing that even when you are alone, you will never be lonely again. And great happiness of life is the conviction that we are loved. Love for ourselves, and even love in spite of ourselves. To read a poem which expresses better than I can my feelings and hopes for this union, and maybe for some of you who are waiting anxiously and wondering about the weather, it has special significance. Now there will be no rain, for each of you will be sheltered to the other. Now you will feel no cold, for each of you will be warm to the other. Now there is no more loneliness, for each of you will be companion to the other. Now you are two bodies, but there is only one life before you. Go now to your dwelling place to enter into the days of your togetherness, and may your days be good and long upon the earth. Now Don and Lisa will recite the vows that they have prepared. Lisa, with, with you I know I feel a great sense of calm and love, a feeling which grows more complete with each passing day. I love waking each morning and sitting with you talking about our new day and what is going to happen. I love the thought and consideration put into everything you do. I love you. I love your kind and generous heart. I know together with you, we have so much more experience, so much more to experience and to learn. A journey which I am so happy to be on with you. I will always be there, right by your side, and I will look forward to all that will become our life together. I've changed the moment we met, and I've been swept away by the journey we started inspire me and make me strive to be a better person. You constantly amaze me with your honesty and generosity. Your smile lights up my day. Um, on my very first morning in Venice, I was scared and alone and uncertain about my future. Never in my wildest dreams could I imagine that my future husband was working on the house next door. <laughs> it took a year and a little more after that morning to meet you, but it was worth the wait. I am honored to become your wife and promise to love you and support you with all my heart now and forever. And now we come to the formal and binding part of the ceremony. And first I ask you, Don, to take Lisa as your lawfully wedded wife, and do you promise to love, to honor, and to cherish her for so long as you both shall live? And Lisa, do you take Don as your lawfully wedded husband? And do you promise to love, to honor, and to cherish him for so long as you both shall live? And Don, please repeat after me. I, Don, take thee, Lisa, as my lawful wife. I, Don, take thee, Lisa, as my lawful wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. Or for in sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. For so long as we both shall live. For so long as we both shall live. And Lisa, I Lisa take thee down as my lawfully wedded husband. I Lisa take thee down as my lawfully wedded husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. For so long as we two shall live. For as long as we two shall live. A few words about the rings that we supply to this change. symbol of unity in which your two lives will remain joined in one unbroken circle, in which wherever you may go, you will always return to each other. Now, Don, if you will take the ring and placing it on Lisa's finger, repeat after me, with this ring, with this ring, I do it. I do it.
vested in me as a judge of the court, I now pronounce you husband and wife, and may your days be good and long upon the earth. Now.